Anyway, so uh, before anything, let me just bring you up to speed on what's happening. I'm pretty sure if you are on uh, Twitter, you might have seen Big Mill trending since last night. And uh, Jubilee House is also trending. And uh, White House is also trending. And this is because of a visual that Big Mill actually shared on Instagram last night. So, you know, Big Mill was in Ghana for Afro Nation. And when he came... There were a lot of things. He was seen biking on the streets. People said, yo, how is he doing that? That was illegal. You know, with all the team and all that. Right from there, there was news about his phone being pickpocketed. And, uh, or he being pickpocketed as well. Uh, move, moving to the event grounds again. He had to fight for his life to get on stage. There was so much drama with McMill when he was in Ghana. He says he enjoyed Ghana. He was treated like a king. And again, he enjoyed everything. He actually revealed that... His ancestral DNA proves that he's 18% Ghanaian, so he's somehow Ghanaian as well. But the latest is that he shared a video of himself at the Flagstaff house. I'm sure you all saw it. It's now known as the Jubilee house. I'm sure you all saw it. He was there with the president and a number of people from the diaspora. Uh, they met the president, had conversations and all that. But that is not the problem now. There's a lot of confusion online. People are talking, how does this happen? So McMill shared a visual, a video of himself at the Flagstaff house, which is considered a security zone. And so for that matter, you are not allowed to film or shoot anything from there. The only cameras that are allowed to follow you in there are either from security at the Flagstaff house. You know, even as a Ghanaian, you can't film. Even if you take a picture outside the Flagstaff house and you are caught, you are in trouble. So the question is, how did McMill have access to film in the Flagstaff house? And he actually addressed the nation as well. You know, the president has been addressing the nation with this, this, this podium and says, fellow Ghanaians, aha. Uh -huh. That's what the poor people say. I don't cry my mouth for a jam. Said, how come McMill was able to have access to the fellow Ghanaians podium, stand behind the fellow Ghanaians and rap and use all the nigger and all that? And again, he was... If you want the visuals very well, they flew a drone. And you know in security installations, you can't fly a drone. So how was he able to fly a drone in front of the Jubilee house, film in there, and have visuals out there? There's been confusion. People are saying there are places at the Flagstaff house that you can film, that you can take pictures, and that it is allowed. Others are saying, yo, this can't happen at the White House, and that is totally not acceptable. There is confusion on there. This morning, McMill has actually deleted the video from Instagram. And it looks like there's been consultations or conversations in the back. The question is, why did he delete it? Did they seek permission before filming? I mean, didn't anybody see them filming? Or maybe the people didn't know they were going to use it for a music video. There's been so many questions, things are happening, people are asking questions. And that's how come McMill is trending on Twitter and on Facebook. Maybe you've not seen the video. Um, for those of you who follow me on Facebook, you might have seen me share the video. Now, this is what he wrote when he posted the video. He says, in court, not industry powered, we make the narrative Ghana. Says, I felt more like a king when I was here. So that's something that he posted. It got a number of re reactions. Stoneboy actually dropped fire emojis on there and a number of Ghanaians actually went hard as Stoneboy said, listen, Somebody is filming at the Flagstaff House, Jubilee House, where you as a Ghanaian wouldn't even be allowed access. And you have a foreigner filming a music video in there, and you are still giving fire emojis. So that's what's happening. That's how come Nick Mill is trending on social media and people are talking. I don't know what you make of it, but you think that, I mean, Ghanaians are overreacting? Can it happen at the Flagstaff House? I mean, can it happen at the White House? People are saying, ah, but... Even the White House, they use it to film, but that is a lie. They are telling you a lie because those are studio settings. Those are shot in studios that are built and all that. So it's a lie. They don't film at the White House where there's a sitting president and things are busy. But I don't know what you make of it. Talk to me. What do you make of it? Do you think it was allowed or it's, it's, it's allowed? Should it happen? Can Ghanaians have access to the Jubilee House to also film? Is it now allowed? Or there's a process you need to go through to be able to film at the Jubilee House. These are questions that Ghanaians are asking, and that's how come 
Meek Mill is trending all over social media. So if you've been seeing the tweets and all that, at least you have a fair idea of what is happening at the Jubilee House now. Well, nobody has spoken, no official from government has spoken, but like I said, the video has been taken down. The reasons yet to be known. Maybe somebody from the Flagstaff House or maybe the Minister of Information, Kojo Ponkuma, might explain later why that was allowed and why that is possible. So Ghanaian creatives, yo, you have a new location. Send me your location. You have a new location you can shoot from. Please let nobody deter you. See, I know somebody who was actually arrested because they tried shooting even around Pediasa Lodge. Pediasa Lodge, oh, a street around Pediasa Lodge, they arrested because they said that's a security zone. But Jubilee House, a bozege.